Yo, this week you can go premium, you can do it for a good cause, or you can just really celebrate history. I'm Jacques Slade. I'm not in the studio today, but this is the heat check. <laughs> So today has a ton of stuff releasing that people have been talking about for weeks. First up is the LeBron Soldier 10K Yao, created to benefit the Cancer Foundation. This pair is dipped in all pink and will come in both men's and GS sizes. If you've been watching LeBron this week, you know he pretty much rocked the Soldier 10 overseas for his tour. You can grab these over at Finish Line right now for $130. Keeping with basketball, the regular Kobe 11 Mamba Curio makes its appearance today as well. Now these colors definitely fit more along the Mamba Curios of the past and you can grab those for $220. For you NFL fans, you can rock your cleats with some Kanye love as the Adidas 350 cleat arrives today. Now to be honest, these are probably gone already. I doubt there's any left, but you can still check for them and they're priced at $250. On the Nike Lab side of things, their collab with Acronym has been getting a ton of hype lately, and today those dropped over at retail. There are three colorways dropping, Black, Olive, and Volt. These are expected to go fast as well, and you can grab those for $200. If you're a fan of AI, then the latest look at the question from Reebok should be on your radar for sure. Scheduled to drop on Friday, this pair is limited to only 500 pairs and celebrate his induction into the Hall of Fame. Those will cost you $175. Prime Knit NMDs are probably the hottest shoe out right now, and Adidas has two coming this week uh, named Trico White and Trico Black. The pairs feature white, blue, and red stripes over their respective colors and you can look for those to cost you $170 at select retailers. On Saturday, Jordan Brand is actually showing the grade schoolers some love with the special color of the Jordan 5 that kind of celebrates the Raptors. Officially called Fierce Purple, the upper is mostly black and shows some Toronto love. You can grab those for $140 over at Finish Line. If you like your Kobe's Elite, then the Kobe 11 Black Horse drops this weekend as well. The color change on the upper of those is really, really dope. Grab those for the usual $220. Now, getting back to Jordan, they're highlighting the first contract that he signed with Nike with the fine print Jordan 31. The black to white upper basically looks like a contract and it actually has Jordan's signature on the outsole, which is pretty cool. Those will cost you $185. If you would rather go premium for your Jordan release this weekend, you can grab the Air Jordan 4 First Class Flight. Premium quilted leather, copper accents, and just an all around great looking shoe. As these are a premium or a pinnacle release, you can expect them to cost a little bit more. So those will cost you $400 on Saturday. Premium leather, prime knit, fly knit, basically you can get the best materials from each of the brands this weekend. Uh, if you like any of the shoes that I talked about today, feel free to check down below for more information on all the shoes that I talked about in the video. Uh, also, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe if you like this video. And don't forget to share it with your friends that you think would be interested in the new sneaker releases. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 